morning everybody as you can see the sun has risen but can you just see the rays of the sun just there below the cloud so um it's a fine morning i suppose the clouds will probably blow away later on this morning at the moment the sun is covered with the clouds so you can't see it. you just see the rays below the cloud level on the far horizon so yes so it's today is monday is the 28th and we're going to go for breakfast now i'm not sure what we're going to do i know we're going to go down to the um i say we i mean me of course I'm going to go down to the buffet to start with and get some porridge. Because uh, unless I decide to go to the restaurant, I could go to the restaurant and because uh, you can get porridge in the restaurant. So I might go down to the restaurant. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet. Anyway, either way, I'll see you all there. Right, folks, in the end, I've elected to come to breakfast in the restaurant. Um, and ordered, oh, just sat down, so... I'll get back here when uh, the breakfast comes in and uh, see if it's any different from the other restaurants. So, bye for now. Right, folks, I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm uh, up in the crow's nest. I've been finished the breakfast, which is quite nice. Unfortunately, there was uh, people on either side of me, so I couldn't very well... Uh, film anything so <clears throat> plus there was uh, a Manchester United support sat two tables away which was interesting very pleasant enough you know no one must have to or anything although anybody who knows about football will know that uh, Manchester United and Leeds supporters don't really like each other but yeah um, we're both mature people, and uh, he's, he was like, him and his missus, they like me, they, you know, they follow the team, and that's about it. Not interested in anything else other than supporting the team. Anyway, so I was unable to film, but uh, what I got is I got my porridge to start with, everybody's seen what porridge is. Uh, and then um, they give you the fixed menu, but the thing is, you don't have to go strictly with the, the with the menu so I started with tomato juice although they did try to persuade me to get orange juice but I said no I want tomato juice uh, and then I got as I said got the porridge tomato juice was nice by the way uh, and then I got uh, some sausage bacon a, a tomato some mushrooms and two poached eggs poached eggs were really nice but they brought them on these two pieces of bread and I it was more or less Eggs Benedict without the ham and without the Hollandaise sauce. Uh, so I don't know why they did that. I just expected two post eggs and say, but either way, I mean, it took a bite of the bread and it was, it, were, um, it wasn't fried bread, so I don't know what the point was there. Anyway, it, I think it was sort of like a bit of toast, but I didn't bother with that all. The post eggs, as I say, were really nice. So yes, and uh, and that's it. So I've come back up, up to the uh, crow's nest, and as you can hear, with chattering background, solo cruisers meetings on again. It looks like they're gonna uh, you have this meeting in the uh, crow's nest every morning. Uh, I'm not sure what time it's set for. But anyway, I've got up here and oh, I ain't got my watch on. Uh, but it's about about quarter past, twenty past nine. So I don't know how long it goes on for, on what time it starts. So, but every morning I come up, it's been there. So the peace and quiet, regrettably, is gone. Uh, it's probably coming come later in the morning, but about 11 o'clock something like that um, it'll be quieter but it'll be more crowded anyway that's it for now uh, I'm just going to sit here for a while and I, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet so bye for now right folks it's uh, 10 o'clock and silence has descended in the crow's nest 
the last of them have gone off to do their own things. So I'll sit here a little bit longer, enjoying this, the peace and quiet. So I'll go off to see what I'm going to do. So, bye for now. Right folks, here I am up on deck 19 and rather than do a complete ship's tour in one go I thought I'd do a, a little bit at a time so as you can see up there is the row course which goes around there, across there Across there and across there. And uh, that is an extra charge, I might add. And here we have the mini golf, which isn't an extra charge. And this is deck 19. Right folks, on this side we've got people sort of doing a bit of basketball, there's a hoop up there and we go in there and it's, it's called a sports arena and uh, mini golf this side so um, yes folks, um, I thought there were a golf net up here I sure I saw a golf net on somebody's uh, blog. Uh, maybe that's at uh, the other end of the ship uh, on deck 18. But uh, we'll have a look around there a bit later. But uh, yeah, that's it for uh, deck 19. So uh, onwards and downwards in this case. Hey folks, um, I was right, there is uh, nets. You see, you've got to run on this side, run on this side. And you have various clubs that you can use. And uh, you'll see the balls. Oh, yes, there's a couple of balls in there. And uh, these are the golf nets I was talking about, and it's there's not much you can do apart from practice your swing. So there you go. Right folks, um, here we are at the very back of the ship. You can see the wake. Running out behind us. Several mi thousand miles in that well, well, not sure to be honest, but a good distance in that direction is seven. And that's where we've come. And we are uh, getting closer to uh, to the Canaries. And this is, so, uh, this is the back of the ship on deck 18 oh, I'm, I'm in a smoking area uh, this is the uh, a bar over there I'm not sure it's cold, I'll go have a look Yes, I'm going over towards the bar and this is the uh, the panorama bar that's the panorama bar so uh, yes right folks just behind me was the splash area for the kids and it was in use so I didn't film and that's the uh, PL Cruises sign. And you can see 
seven laps equals one mile on this because it's not a full it's not like the promenade deck it doesn't go right round the ship so yes and that's uh, the view from deck 18 you can see uh, I'm just going to sit down for a few minutes, so I'll uh, speak to you later. Right folks, uh, I'm back up on to 19, uh, at the front of the ship. And uh, it's all sunbathing up here. Yeah, it's all sunbathing, all sunbathing. Uh, small pool down there, retreat. No, I don't think it is retreat. But this is the front of the ship. And uh, that's all there is up for this end. This is the front. So you can see it's just sunbathing on this part of the ship. So we're going to go back down onto deck. What I meant to say, of course, is we're going back down to deck 18. We're already on deck 19. This is Beachcomber Bar. And, uh, yeah. Pool. We can chill out. Grab a deck chair. Find somewhere to sit. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back to my cabin, take this jacket off, and I'll speak to you later. Bye for now. Right folks, I'm back down on 17. Um, and this is the crow's nest that you've seen me a few times. But uh, it's more or less the same as in uh, Or I should say, as on Iona and Britannia. Same thing. Difference is that Britannia has these telescopes, whereas Iona doesn't. And no one does, are they? Oh, Dita, And there you go, folks. Not quiet in all the uh, solo cruises have gone. And you see we've got a bar here, not sure what time it opens, but uh, yeah, that is the uh, crow's nest. And that's, like as I say, that's the crow's nest. Right folks, um, just outside the uh, crow's nest, is the Epicurean restaurant. In the Epicurean restaurant. This is uh, this is an extra charge restaurant. So uh, yeah. So yeah. that's, apart from cabins, that's all there is on deck 17. Right folks, uh, come back to my cabin because uh, my cabin's on deck uh, 17. As I say, because apart from the crow's nest in the Epicurean restaurant, that's all that's in, on this deck. So I think that'll do for now because we're now moving down to uh, from 60, deck 16 that is packed well it will be packed I haven't had a look yet but that'll be packed and uh, and then the lower decks 8, 7 and 6 they're, they're all the shops and everything that'll be very crowded so I'm going to leave that till tomorrow for when we're going you know when we're in Tenerife where it'd be a lot less crowded down there. 
So yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is uh, it is uh, just gone 11 o'clock so I'm going to relax for an hour and then I'll think about where consider where I'm going to go for, for my lunch so bye for now quick update folks um, <clears throat> forgot to mention um, it is definitely getting warmer definitely because I'm on my balcony and the sun has moved high into the sky now so that my balcony is in complete shade and it's still warm I'm still nice and warm on this balcony so we're definitely getting the temperature is definitely getting warmer the captain yesterday said it would be 20 degrees today uh, and he wants you uh, and he thought it'd be about 21 degrees by the time we got down to Tenerife so yeah, you can definitely feel the warmth. And the sound you can hear in the background is the crashing down of the waves as the ship passes through them. And I'll just give you a quick look. And you can see nothing but ocean. Because we are now in the Atlantic Ocean although tomorrow night is when we actually sail out into the Atlantic Ocean proper this is coming down past the um, well it's a tip of Spain maybe uh, it, yesterday we were off the coast of Portugal so maybe we're still off the so the most of Portugal and um, Spain, where Portugal and Spain meet on the southern border. How that way it is. In that direction. And you can see it. Can see it. Yeah, out in that direction. I'm not sure whether how much of that you caught on the thing because it's a, the glare on the screen I can't, can't see it too clever anyway it's definitely out in that direction at the time it's pointing so yeah so I'll speak to you later right folks um and, uh, I decided to come down to the quay. I got myself two nice pieces of fish, bushy peas, chips. I got a cake and a cup of coffee. So I'm going to tuck in to this lot, and um, I'll tell you what it's like. Bye for now. Right, folks. Uh, not bad. Oh, brilliant. It wasn't bad. Um, I could only give it a 7 out of 10 because the different temperatures stretch it up. Chips were red hot, very nice. The uh, fish, lovely. It was obviously cod, it was beautiful, but it would only look warm. And the peas, the mushy peas. They would have been really nice, except for the fact that they were flat cold. So there you go, three different temperatures. And the pudding was quite nice, yeah, I enjoyed the pudding. Oh, dessert, <laughs> yeah, so that was tasty, you know. And of course the coffee was nice and pot. So yeah, as I say, overall, seven out of ten. So there you go, so I'm going to have a wander out onto promenade deck, and I may or may not a full lap I certainly don't think I'll do enough laps to make a mile but uh, we'll see how it goes so, I know.
I thought at the front of the ship. Oh, the bow. Yeah. I'll do a more detailed tour of the uh, deck eight, as I say, when we do uh, a bit more of the uh, exploring the ship when we're in Tenerife tomorrow. So, bye for now. Right, folks, this is where the promenade, promenade deck sticks out from the side of the ship and as you can see and it's the exact same on the other side folks having done one full lap of the ship and um, you have to treat myself with a bowl of fruit how many laps to do around the ship to complete a mile, I don't know, because uh, there was no sign anywhere around that uh, walk that I saw that told you how many laps of the ship you have to do. It might be three, but because the one up there on the top deck, which was a lot shorter, was, I believe, was seven laps, so it might be three. But anyway, we've done a lap. Quite proud of myself again. <laughs> doing a lap. I'll build up to uh, doing a full mile towards the end of the cruise. Anyway, I'm going to tuck into this salad now and the uh, fruit salad, I should say. And uh, I'll get back to that. Bye for now. Yes, folks, that was uh, very tasty, was that? It had um, melon, it had some grape, it had some orange, it had a piece of kiwi. Uh, there are different uh, types of melon in there, but uh, yeah. Very tasty indeed, very tasty indeed. I've never seen no strawberries or... Mind you, I think there was a piece of pineapple. Yeah, I'm sure there was a piece of pineapple in there as well. But no strawberries or raspberries. <laughs> Not surprising. They're, the mo they're expensive, I think, at the moment. So naturally, they weren't putting them in. But other than that, yeah, they're really tasty. I enjoyed that, yeah. So um, I'm gonna go down to uh, short excursion and I'm going to find out what happens when we get to Barbados you know uh, is there a shuttle of, to, you know to, to the airport and uh, I'll let you guys know what the situation is when I've spoken to short excursions bye for now hi folks I just thought while I'm here this is Green and Co uh, and this is a vegetarian restaurant when it's uh, <clears throat> vegetables, which is expected seeing as it's a vegetarian restaurant. As you can see, it's quite nice setting and everything. But, uh, yeah, you, you, do, you only get this on the Arbia, it's not on the Iona, in case you've never been on either, either ship. But yeah, it looks nice, but uh, can't see me going in there. But there you go, folks. Right for report on the uh, short excursion thing. What happens is, is that when you arrive at your destination on a P&O ship, is that uh, on, on, on this particular cruise, and I would imagine it's it's always the same on uh, you know on this uh, type of cruise, transatlantic cruise, or repositioning. What happens is when we arrive, I do my excursion which is in the morning, get back to the ship and there are shuttles to take us. You know, there's a set time for them, a particular one depending on obviously what time your flight is. Also, it, is, it appears that it is like what happened when I did the fly crews in uh, last, yeah, I think it's December, the Christmas one last December on the Azora. What happens is the... They give you the labels and everything to put on your suitcase uh, the day, be the night before, and you you put your, you know the the labels that you get at the airport that they would normally put on when you're checking in. So you get them, you put them on your suitcase. Obviously, you remove the P and O labels that you put on, you put them on, you put them outside your cabin, and the next time you see your suitcases, 
is at the uh, on the carousel at uh, your arrival airport, which in my case is Manchester. So I'll give them put the cases out the night before, case out the night before, and the next time I'll see that I'll be in Manchester. So that solves the problem of what happens with my cases. And as I say, I go on my, my uh, excursion, I get back. And from what she was saying, um, I should be on a coach or a shuttle from the ship to the airport about one o'clock because uh, my flight is at quarter to four. So, yes, yeah, so that's all sorted. While I was there, I don't know if I mentioned it, but, but uh, I cancelled the excursion I did in Tenerife because uh, I didn't bring a jumper, you know, or a warm jacket, but, and I didn't realise because it said it can get below freezing at this time of year at the top of the mountain. And they charged me um, <clears throat> £8.19, which is 10% of the original charge for the thing. What I'm doing now is I'm sat in... Uh, the atrium, the middle one, deck seven, and just chilling. And I'll just show you. And there you have it. There's the the lower section down there. And there, you can just see people wandering along. That's uh, the promenade deck, um, and that's on deck eight. And uh, yes, so. Uh, might get myself a drink there's a bloke wandering around so i'll get back to you once i've ordered my drink bye for now Well, folks, that's uh, line dancing in the atrium. So, uh, come on a cruise, or being a cruise. I think they do that sort of thing on uh, on the Iona as well, and uh, probably on the Britannia, although I don't remember seeing that on the Britannia. But they will do. The smaller ships, no. I want the thoughts on the smaller ships. Anyway, there you go. It looked nice, it looked good, didn't it? Enjoyable. These, them, them lot will really enjoy themselves. So, speak to you later. Right, folks, here we are in the Headliners Theatre. And we've come to watch Deal or No Deal. Um, you don't have to. You can uh, purchase uh, a card and play along, so you could win money yourself. But you don't have to do, so um, I'm just coming along to watch it. So obviously you won't be able to film it during the performance, but uh, yeah, I'll get back to you when it's uh, finished and I'll let you know what it was like, were it, were it uh, enjoyable enough, and you know whether you should consider coming to watch it yourself. Uh, if you come and have you. So, bye for now. Right, folks. Um, as you gather, we're back in the cabin. Um, yeah, it was an interesting show. Uh, for anybody coming on the uh, ship and thinking of playing that game, it costs £20 for one ticket uh, or two tickets for £30. And you might win nothing. So bear that in mind. Uh, the first chap that went up on stage, um, he won £129 because he took the banker's offer in the end. Uh, and had he, kept, had he played on, he'd have won £350. Anyway, that's how it goes. Uh, four members of the audience won £50. Uh, so many won, what was the other ones, a bingo ticket, a £76 bingo ticket. And quite a few won that. Uh, you had to match the case, your card had to match the cases on the, up on the stage. Now, they, they had two, two players, 
the second player, he got right down to end and he had a pound or, tw or one penny and he swapped cases. He swapped his case for the other case that were left and the case that he did have originally had the pound in it, so he won a penny. A bit poor for poor the. I bet the person felt a bit of a fool, but so it is, isn't it? That's how luck goes. But one person actually won two hundred pound on that game, you know, in the audience. Uh, so swings and roundabouts. You never know. You never know. Luck with luck. But yeah, but it was enjoyable watching. As, as I say, you can't you can't film it. weren't allowed to film it as I expected. But uh, yeah, we're very interested, very interesting, not very interested, very interesting. And uh, I'd go again, you know, if they had it on again, I'd, pr I'd probably go and watch it again. Because, uh, uh, yeah, so as I say, I'm back in my cabin now, it's three o'clock. Um, I'm just going to relax now because uh, I've got the uh, chef's table at six. So I'll give it to about five and then I'll start to get things together, you know, have a shower and, and etc. So uh, I'll speak to you probably when I'm when I'm ready to go to the chef's table. So bye for now. Right, folks, um, there I am in my best uh, bib and tucker, as they say, and uh, getting ready to go to... Uh, the chef's table, it's um, 5.51, so yeah, we go, to, uh, go down there and um, if I remember, I'll take a few shots of the, of the meal. Um, so far, we've not been given a voucher so for the free drink that you normally get, so whether they've stopped it, uh, and it's from this cruise <laughs> because we got it when we was on the Iona back in September. So uh, we'll have to find out what's happened to that free drink. Mind you, when we were on the Iona, we didn't get this uh, drink voucher that you could use anywhere on the ship. So maybe that is in place of the uh, celebration night drink. So, uh, yeah. So uh, I'll speak to you all later. Bye for now. Well, I've got. You must have a show. Oh, yes. No idea, really, really, but it's a sort of a pre appetizer. <laughs> it's a smoked salmon. Last year or whenever it was. Yeah. That's prime minister. That's it, somewhat like that. Otherwise, I'm going to give him about three or four. Anyway, a, a raspberry something or other and a trifle. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to chuck into this and let you know what they're like. Hi folks, a um, couple of hours later, I've had a wander around ship. Um, yes, it, uh, it's been a nice night, We've, uh, but I, uh, I I had a look around. I, I didn't really fancy anything that um, that was on go uh, tonight. I've seen most of it anyway, and so I decided not to bother. I just uh, wandered around downstairs and had a drink. Uh, and then of course I come back to I've come back to cabin and it's um, it's now around nine o'clock. Now the meal itself, there's a say the, the the had some thing with it with peach or something and it wasn't nice. I don't like that particular one. They do two of them. Do that one, then do a red one, and depending on what ship you're on, and the red one's a lot nicer. Uh, the uh, starter was really nice. I'm not sure what it was. Uh, but it had some mousse type thing in the middle and that were really tasty and, and of course it wrapped around with smoked salmon that were lovely. Then the main course, uh, the vegetables, so-so, apart from the fact that they gave me broccoli and 
I don't like broccoli, as anybody who's watched my blogs will know, because I'm always complaining about them giving me broccoli. Uh, yeah, but the and the beef Wellington was so, it was okay, you know. It was um, I think you'd call it medium to well done. Although they never asked us what it what it was or anything. So yeah, um, and so it was okay, you know, not bad. Uh, and then of course I got two puddings because I didn't I didn't eat a lot of the main meal, so I got two puddings. I got um, something it was a uh, raspberry something. And I'm not sure what it was, but it had a little bit of a little raspberry on the side. So, uh, and then there were uh, a cherry trifle, and the cherries were proper cherries, D stone cherries and everything, uh, black cherries, and they were they're really nice, yeah, very tasty and what have you. So that was the map for the meal. Uh, I think we left there at about oh, about quarter past seven, something like that. Uh, but obviously they were wanting people to leave because so, cause they had to get ready for the next session which was at 8.30 so they obviously wanted us all out so yeah I got chatting to various people uh, people on my left and uh, people on my right very friendly a uh, couple on my right came from Yorkshire so that had something to chat about nice people um, they're going to see if they can find me blog hopefully so if you're out there and you've watched it I hope you subscribe uh, yes, yeah, so I, as I say, I went downstairs, had a wander around, and uh, and I've come back. Uh, so I'm going to call it a night, um, and I'm going to watch a film. So, yes, yeah, so I'll see you all tomorrow in Tenerife. And uh, so it's good night from me, and it's good night from him. Bye.